today we're going to be doing an office tour of our workspace. This is highly so, requested. Very requested and super excited to share with you our some of our office organization and yep. where we get all of our stuff from. So let's, let's get go started ahead and get into the video. <laughs> okay, starting on the first wall on the side of the office, we have our little printing station. So we have these metal racks from Ikea. I forget what they're called off the top of my head, but we do have two of them. And so we have our super heavy duty Canon printers on here. We also have a couple of laser printers as well as our sticker paper here at the bottom. And I really like these shelves because they are super heavy duty. So um, it can withstand the weight of all the sticker paper and printers and it's honestly really good quality And it wasn't too expensive either. Yeah, it was not So in case you're wondering what printers we use we talk about that in the Items you need to start a sticker shop and that will be linked in the top corner Okay, so this is where our Mac lives, and this is the computer, main computer that we use for pretty much everything. So we've got our label printer right there. We love our Rolo label printer. We just have like our pens and extra stationery, whatnot. Um, as you can see here, it's also connected to our silhouette machine, so it's really easy for when we're cutting. Um, we're mm -hmm. able to use this and send all of the cutting to our machines. Yes, we also do all of our printing from this computer as well. So, so. basically controls all the printing and cutting. Moving on to the next part, we have our cutting station. We have eight silhouette portraits. Um, these are silhouette twos, two. portrait twos, and then the two over here are the original portrait ones. Um, yeah, we don't have a problem running them all together, so in case you were curious, um, we're able to run all eight, um, unless one of them is acting up, but usually we can get all of them running at the same time. And yeah, we also have our neon sign up here. That just says Sticker Guru, we had it custom made. And then also wanted to note that our setup, because we get a lot of questions about it, the shelving is actually these shoe box, or shoe rack. Yes, shoe rack so shelves. these shelves are actually shoe racks from Target, I believe. Maybe Amazon, I don't remember. You can I got get it them. from either. Yeah, I got them so long ago. But they fit these silhouette portraits perfectly. So if you have a cameo or a cricket, I don't think those would fit in these. Um, and we did take the covers off of our silhouettes. We get that question a lot. Um, so yeah. And then the LED light strips are from Amazon. And that helps a lot with cutting stickers. And the sticks we've also added. Yes. That's to help our mats when our mats are coming in and out, they are not falling down and just kind of helps the whole cutting process. Yeah, it keeps them level with the machine. So moving on over here, we have a little paper holder that we honestly rarely use. It's from Ikea. Honestly, not the best quality paper holder, but yeah, that is over there. And then we have this little corner over here that we have our lights set up and we use this to record our new releases video, $2 Tuesday videos. Take product photos. Yes, so anything that requires good lighting, we uh, do that over here on this table. And the lighting is actually a purchase from Amazon. We used, we purchased one of those lighting kits mm -hmm. and it came with both of these. Plus I think another one as well. Yeah. So if you're looking for cheap lighting that's still good quality, check out to Amazon. I want to say they were like 50 bucks, so pretty good deal. And then we have our foiling station, yes. which if you've watched our foiling video, you've probably already seen a little peek of it. But we have our foiling machine here. It is the Amer T America. T America. Is that how you say it? Yeah. T America. Here, let me get closer. So we use a Tamerica laminator. Um, we do have a stack of stickers that I need this to is foil. Like a very big stack. Um, and 
The machine is currently on. It's currently preheating, but I will be foiling some stickers later today. So over here we have this shelving from Ikea. I believe it's the, called the Alex 6. And in it we have a lot of miscellaneous things. A lot of them are junk drawers, to be honest. So mm -hmm. I don't want to show you the huge mess that's in them. Um, this but one has like cutting mats, just like extra supplies and like whatnot. <laughs> they go into the drawers so that they are not just out in the open. But yeah, I, I do really like these drawers from Ikea. I think they are really great for just organizing all different stuff. And over here we have our humidifier as well as our air filter. The humidifier and also you can see over there is a little like gauge to help us check yeah. the humidity in the room. And then the air filter, we do have a dog so it helps a lot with the smell and just yeah. general air quality. Yeah, we, there's a lot of dust from cutting stickers, so I think having an air filter helps that a lot. Same with foiling. Lots of foil flakes fly up into the air, so I highly recommend getting an air, air filter. This one is from Air Oasis. I don't really know. I've never bought air filters in the past, so I did order this one like in January, and it didn't arrive until April, so... It did take a very long time for me to get it, but I think it's been good so far. Okay, and then finally, the last part of our office is the packing station. And this packing station has grown a lot over the years. We had like one of those small Calyx shelves, the eight cube one, um, for the longest time. That's all we were using, and then we finally got the 16 cube. Which is this one right there. Last year, um, I wanna say around like September or October, and that totally was a game changer. We had so much space for inventory. So as you can see, all the shelves are filled now. Uh, we are like running out of space again, but hopefully we can move offices soon and expand our space a little bit more, but this is the current setup. So over here, we have all of our stationary items. So we have our washies up top, then we have some vellum sticky notes, and then at the bottom, we have all of our packing supplies. So we have some bubble mailers, we have our custom envelopes, and then over on the inside, we have more $2 Tuesday items, so this is the majority of our foiled sticker inventory. We do have some downstairs in the basement that won't fit up here. Um, so as you can see, we have a whole bunch of stickers. It goes all the way back. And we have these little index cards with tabs to keep track of all of these SKUs since we do have so many different designs. That really helps with our packing process. If you've watched any of our Instagram reels, we share a lot of our tips on organization and packing. These boxes are from Uline. They are cardboard and they're really easy to assemble. Um, super cheap so you can get a lot of them and they're, as you can see, they're like the perfect size for our stickers. Yeah, like they fit perfectly in these cubes, three across. We also used to use these plastic containers from the container store. They're pretty similar in size. They're not as long but these are a lot more expensive, so I highly recommend just checking out the cardboard boxes from Uline. I believe it came in a pack of 100, and I wanna say it was like 70 or $80. So not too bad for if you would divide up the cost, but yeah. And then over here on this table, we have our stair kit inventory. It's super low right now since we just had a sale this past weekend, um, but we are in the process of doing a restock. And then over here we also have journaling kits. Over here is where we actually fill the orders. So we have our iPad here. We use these rainbow dividers to pick each order. And then once it's completely filled, we will go ahead and start packing the orders. And this table is from Ikea. 
we have the shelves here on this side like we have some of our packing supplies in here too so like we have cello bags up here um i think up here is like just pens typical stationary stuff and then towards the bottom it's more junk drawers so yeah that is our oh and then we have another ipad here for when my mom helps fill orders and this is our tape dispenser as you can see here you load it up with water and then it comes out actually through the other end um, using this lever sort of thing and this is what we use to seal our boxes up yeah so for shipping anything in a box we will use that um, the packing tape dispenser and yeah that is pretty much our entire office so Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what sort of video you want to see next. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.